Hello everyone and this is a simple tutorial on how to import uh, a music file into Houdini and then generate a very simple sort of audio visualizer out of it. So this is going to be our final result. Okay, so to start off, what I'm going to do is I, I have this one line, so I'm just going to copy this line into a new file and we'll create a chop network. I'll call it uh, audio and in the chop network, I'll just bring in the same audio track that I have. So I'm just going to come in here and I have this guy. So I'm going to do control C and then come back here into this and control B. And if we split this, so we'll do split pane top bottom and switch this to motion effects. And you should be able to see your audio track. Okay, now uh, you can bring in anything. You can, uh, you can import an MP3, you can import a WAV file, like whatever you have, you can just pick it up. Now, if you want to play this, like right now, if you play this, nothing happens. Okay, so if you want to play this, what you need to do, so what you do is you click on this little icon over here, which is like a speaker. Okay, so you click on that and then you click on scrub and you can put in a file here or you can put in the chop file here. So I'll just take this file and drag and drop it over there. And that's pretty much it. So if you play this now, it plays the file for you. So, you know, that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do. Okay, so once you've done this, the there are a few things we need to do like first of all generally when you will import uh, an audio track it will be it will be stereo right so there'll be like two tracks so we want to delete one of those right like i think if i look at the uh, yeah see so you can you can see the data here like you have chan 0 and chan 1 so just take a delete node and get rid of the get rid of one of them so we'll just do like chan zero so we have like you know this guy left okay now the basic thing is i don't know anything about audio okay so a long time back i'd seen like a bunch of tutorials so i just kind of follow what is there okay so the next two nodes that i'm going to use i can't really explain what they're doing but those are the two nodes that you need to make this work so the first one is called spectrum you can look up the help It'll sort of explain it to you. But I looked up the help. I didn't understand anything because I'm not an audio guy, so I don't get it. Okay, but if you click on Spectrum and then if you press play, what it does, you'll see like a little sort of a spike or something kind of going through it. So you can see that little spike over there. And then if you see it, see, you see it sort of travel through. But what we, so that is good. But what we want is we want that spike to remain constant in like one place. So all you have to do is take a shift node. And in the shift node, uh, you just have a very simple option which says uh, unit value absolute. And that's pretty much it. So once you've done that, you will now see your track over here. Like make sure you turn off this guy. And if we press H and there you go, you have your track. And now the rest of it is pretty simple actually. Like you can you can directly export this to your uh, to your line and that will work, right? So what, I, what we'll do is we can just take a rename and I'll just name this something. So let's just call it, uh, let's call it left as in like left channel, right channel. So let's just call this left. And then I can take a null and we'll just do out. So I can actually just export this. You, we can do a few more things on top of this, but I can just export this right now. Okay, so what you do is you just take this line and then you need something called as a channel node. So the channel node brings in that data in here. So we need to do a few things. The first one is what is the chop network that you want to pick up? So we want to pick up out. And then uh, what is the scope? So what is the name? So the name is left. Okay, so we just type in left over here. And we only want to affect the Y axis. So what you do is you can't do P dot Y. Uh, Houdini is sort of weird that way, like 
in some nodes it works very differently so what you do is you do p bracket uh, it's like 0 1 2 so 0 is x and 1 is y and 2 is z okay so you just do 0 1 and 2 so we'll do p1 and that's pretty much it so if you press play there you go we are we are done okay so it's it's actually like that simple okay and then the rest of it is so we can actually like lower the number of points i had about 2000 points so i can make it maybe make it like 500 so you'll see it okay now if you want we can come in here and then we can also resample it because this is a lot of points so if i press d and if i zoom in yeah this is like a lot of points so if you want to reduce them you can you know like i can just take this and do a resample and you know you can just reduce the number of points make it about like 10000 so it will be you know less less detailed okay. you'll still get the result like that's not a problem and the other thing we want to do is you'll notice like the spike goes up like really high like if i press play so if you don't want to do that, if you want it to be like you know more controlled you can take a limit node and you can sort of like limit it so that's like a that's like a clamp sort of okay so all you have to do is just set it to loop okay and we want to go from 0 to 1 and that's it so this will ensure that it doesn't like spike too high okay What you can also do is like, let's say like this is starting here. Maybe you want to shift it a little bit towards the middle. I can just, I can take another shift node and I can maybe just shift it a little bit. So we can do like 0 0.02. See, so we can sort of shift it in the middle or let's do zero. Yeah, so that will give you like, you know. So that's pretty much it. Okay, so you can, and then you can do an n number of things with it. Like if you want, instead of exporting it to like say uh, p p dot y, we can export it to like p scale. You know, so if I just take, uh, let's say if I don't do this, I'll just do a float and generate a generate a p scale. Okay, so we'll just generate this, and I can then just take this and set it to p scale. Okay, and then if I take another line and I do a copy to this line, so I do copy to points and just drop this here and there you go. So you'll get this. And then if you know like chops and stuff, then you can, you can use like a math node and you know, do for, do like some more stuff if you want to do with it. But that's pretty much it. Like, you know, we can, then you can apply like colors to this. Like I can take this guy and then uh, maybe I can just put a color node here and I'll just do something very stupid. Like I'll just set it to a uh, bounding box. Okay. And we'll set the background dark. And like if I come in here, oh, sorry, not bounding box there because there's nothing happening. Yeah, we can just put the bounding box at the end. There you go. Yeah. So yeah, you can, you can do color in an N number of ways, but there you go. So this is like the most, you know, basic way to do it. We can take like an adjust color node and do something a little more with it. Like I can turn this off and turn on color correction and maybe like up the value and we can hue shift it a bit, maybe up the saturation. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Like, as I said, like the main two nodes are these guys, like spectrum and shift. You use that and then everything else is just, you know, like do whatever you want to do with it. Okay, that's pretty much it. So this is how uh, you can import audio and then generate like a simple uh, audio visualizer in Houdini.